In 2011, Australia passed a law that would allow non-citizens who are convicted of a crime to be detained and subsequently deported to their country of citizenship. Hey, wasn't that such a great party last night? What the hell? Oh my God, this is not good. Hey, how long does weed stay in the system? Many immigrant families were severely impacted by this law as sons, daughters, and sometimes even parents were torn apart from their families. Please step out of the car, madam. And sent to a country that many had not seen since a child, and often even with no knowledge of the language. Miss Radha Gopalan, as you are an alien citizen and have committed a crime in Australia, you are required to answer certain questions. No, wait, there must be some mistake. I'm Australian. Is there a reason you chose not to take out Australian citizenship? Um. No. Do you know Bilal Musa? No, I don't Lying to the him. border force is a serious crime. This is you, is it not? Under the 2014 Counter-Terrorism Act, you may be charged with giving support to a terrorist. This can't be. Personal responsibility? Not enough of that these days. You're seriously getting me a suburban tax lawyer to take on the immigration department? Holy crap, can you believe it? The mayor's daughter, Rada, has been put in immigration detention. Absolute gold. The tabloids will eat it up. Why does your father hate Rada so much anyway? Dunno. Something that happened in India before they came here, but she was only a baby. My dear one, you look so very beautiful. I toast you, my sweet. My auntie told me that the scandal forced them to leave India. The shame was too great. And Uncle Dave, well he is such a proud man. Auntie said he couldn't bear the humiliation. Unfortunately rather, it's not that easy. Under Section 501, if you commit a crime while you're detained, it doesn't need to be one that attracts a prison sentence. The bar is a lot lower for people in detention. But what crime could I have committed here? I've only been here a week. Those men, all took turns, on top of me, he woke up in a hospital. They took my brother, and his wife, and his two children, and shot them. They all died. So my father made me promise not to come back home. He can no longer curse back one single word anymore. I feel since those soldiers bashed in his skull. He can only make these strange noises. The men in charge of the boat wanted to do bad things to me, and my mother tried to stop them. So they shot her. Bang bang. And she fell into the water. Now, I don't have a mother. And the men, they did those bad things to me. Anyway. Oh my god, no. Not now. caused enough trouble and pain to our family just go go away i'm here for a couple of weeks and if there's something i need to know i'll make sure i find it out thousands of people have rallied across australia calling for refugees on manus island and nauru to be brought here to mark the sixth anniversary of offshore detention How the hell can they deport me? To where? To India? Rather, I'm sure it won't get to that stage. Something will come up. <laughs>